and children and the union myself Ishoda. In last few videos, we'll try to understand what is the uh, dispersion of light when it is passes through the prism. So when light will passes through the prism, just a second here. When light passes through the prism, we observe the dispersion of light, right? So when in case of that, what we observe when the light passes through the prism? Okay, in case of that, what you observe the spectrum you observe the deviation of light, the dispersion of light also we are going to observe. The same, this is not what we need man-made what we call. Okay, that means we take a prism and passing through that we are going to observe the spectrum on the screen. That spectrum containing how many colors is a band of colors containing with gayar colors, it is band containing, right? So it is with and gayar or we have the top. So this is what the band of colors what we call spectrum observed in the laboratories in case of nature also we're going to observe the spectrum that is naturally naturally available in spectrum in nature what we call as a wave color okay that is what we call as a rainbow okay rainbow comes you know with bare colors now what we observing in the nature it is usually see when you can see this uh, like uh, we are in case of shower okay that means in case of rainy season we going to observe this okay when the rain is falling at the same time the sun is there okay when the sun is there and rain is falling when you are starting okay suppose you are standing in between the behind of you sun must be there and in front of you okay this is suppose in this time of you in front of in front of you, you are going to observe the vibrator color that is rainbow, and back of you, sun rays need to fall and it will reflect back to your eyes, and then what you observe is spectrum color. So how it will actually it is in not only the signal method only reflection or only diffraction, it will include all the terms. Okay, let us see how it will. We usually see the rainbow after the shower of rain. Okay, and it is also occur in the waterfalls. Okay, usually naturally means in case of shower of rain we can see. And if you go near waterfalls, if uh, in case of waterfalls or ocean waves, this because this is also we can see in that time also. Okay, this is because water droplet is essential for the formation of rain. One thing, formation of rainbow, what is required is the water droplet is required. And the next one, basically see, rainbow is formed when white light dispersed, reflected and refracted by the water droplet. Clear children, it will be, what will happen, the three process which are that, it will reflect, refract and it will diffract also from the water droplet. Then only the what we call know that rainbow will form. And the next, the steps involved in this process. This slide, if you understand clearly, you can able to answer this question clearly. So here are so many multiple processes. In one, you can see the ray is inserting. The sun ray is required. That means what is required? Thing. First, the sun ray. Because why sun ray only equal to touch light? No? In touch light, you can see only one color or one wavelength light. Like a laser, you can take only red laser or green laser. But you can take the sun. It is a white light. White light will come from the sun. No? It will be composition of seven colors. It is a composition of seven colors. That means out of all seven colors will be mixed in the sunlight. That is what when you pass a white light through the prism, what will happen with seven colors? Like that here, this water droplet act like a prism. Okay, this water droplet now acting like a prism. In a prism, though, what will happen? Light will go, it will spread, it will come out like this. But in a water droplet, it will go with subtrain angles, like we call critical angles. Again, it will totally internally reflect back and it will spread out. Okay, let us see here. Sun, the sunlight strikes the water droplet and reflected reflection of light. Okay, first process is this what sunlight strike the water droplet, it will come and insert. And the second process is light is going to reflect. So why it will reflect? You know, suppose you'll take this is a normal, what is the angle of incidence? That must be equal to angle of refraction. You under sorry, reflection. What you study knows the sign of angle of incidence, sign of angle of refraction. In case of refraction, in case of first second law of reflection, is angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. Okay, this is what the first class is. That means it will incident and same some amount of light will refract, reflect and some amount of light will refract. That is third process. Refraction of light. Light entering the water droplet. Okay, you see entering this third path is a refraction. It is coming through the water droplet. That is refraction of light. Okay, and the next like a glass plate. Okay, light dispersion. Light will going to disperse as well. 
okay that means see it will going to refract means only like one ray means it will bend okay you know no it is coming from one medium to another medium about the normal it will going to bend this is what we call refraction of light not only refraction it will going to split also because white light no composition seven color that is what we call dispersion dispersion means the spreading of light here the lens see you can only this much your lens is spreading so that is what we call dispersal uh, dispersing spreading out next total see whatever the light is not coming out okay after five it is totally reflecting back to the six what is there violet here that will become violet here red is there this side that will come down so like that it will be total internal reflection going to occur either water to air interface this is water and this is air interface at this interface total internal reflection going to occur and the next last process is refraction of a light light leaves the water droplet refraction means when it is coming out from water to the air that means from denser medium to the rarer medium again the speed increases it will going to spread okay and next further light dis dispersion okay this is further in, in the last seven process it will going to disperse and it will going to spread out like this okay all the seven process will going to occur in the process of formation of rainbow okay formation of rainbow is not so easy it is a complex steps it will involve one is sunlight need to strike that means sun is required incident light must be the sunlight and reflective reflection of light surface at the water droplet that is reflection of light takes place refraction of light takes place at the fourth one dispersion okay dispersion of light takes place again total internal reflection takes place so all this process will go to taking place just as okay yeah so once again okay now you can see in clearly i think picture first one is light is striking the surface that is sunlight will strike that is what we call white light striking the surface second process is a reflection of light about the normal with same angle it is the same angle it going to reflect and the third process is the refraction of light okay at fourth process you can see the spreading of light and the fifth one is total internal reflection tir we can call so whatever light will go it won't go any out outside all light will incident on the surface that is water to air interface okay all light will reflect back that is what we call total internal reflection it will happen at critical angle actually and the next one is uh, you can see the sixth process refraction of light again it will going to taking place refraction of light okay all the light will going to refract all the rays again and the whose dispersion of light will going to taking place okay children this is the steps involved in formation of rainbow let us see one by one step now clearly the sunlight strikes the water droplet when it is strikes the water droplet so before we start let us think about we usually see the rainbow no you can see in the picture here you can see in the picture rainbow this is a first rainbow a very high intensity and the second rainbow it is less intensity so how this is from we just check you after shower of rain okay after the shower of a rain that means small water droplet still required to form a rainbow and the next one is drawn or a late afternoon that means in very high intensity okay late afternoon like three o'clock four o'clock like that we going to observe this one okay this is the two conditions required to form the rainbow one thing sun is required and the next thing is okay first thing what we require is sun and the second thing what you require rain droplets of water okay now see but even the rain okay just but even if the rain is there we still seldom see the rainbow during early morning or middle afternoon and the late evening only that means sunlight is required because the sunlight must strikes the water droplet at a certain angle okay before the formation of rainbow is possible okay that means the directly it will instant on the normal not possible okay it will come with total internal reflecting angle okay that total suppose the angle to critical angle is 90 
45 degree it must come with a 45 degree angle then only it will total internal reflection and form a rainbow see all the rain is there even though rain is falling okay even though sun is there but every time we cannot see the rainbow right only few days only few events we can see the rainbow that is because when the the sun rays are falling with the critical angle okay with the certain angle vertical critical angle that time only we totally internally reflect back and we can see the rainbow okay it is the best if the sun is highly low okay the sky in the sky and much and such as drawn a drawn or late afternoons we can see that rainbow actually and the next step is see you can see through the glass okay you can see through the glass here and here this is the glass surface what is we can observe no? outside world you can see easily what is uh, suppose this is a glass what is happening outside we can see that means light is refracting and going outside as well as same time we can see her if we are she's seeing outside what is happening and she can also see her image also that means what is why she can see her image in case of mirror you can see your image no why children because light falls and it reflect back to you that time you can see your image that means in the glass plate okay because it because of its thickness it will undergo reflection as well as it will undergo refraction okay some amount of light will going to reflect and some amount of light going to refract okay that is what the uh, happen in case of a rain drop also when it will strike the first step strikes second step it will going to reflect and third step it going to refract both will be occur as like a glass plate okay children this is because window both transmit and reflect the light okay okay refraction of light entering the water droplet okay for example to understand this statement let us see first in the picture below the light is refracted in the glass block because the glass block is denser than the air okay why it is refracting you know children this is medium one and the glass is medium two air particles are loosely arranged air particles are closed factly arranged so that what happened the speed of light going to decrease instead of going in a straight path like this it is appears to bend and it will go when it is coming from again denser to area it will move away from the normal like this okay this is what happening because of refraction medium 1 and medium 2 because of change in medium refraction going to taking place like that only in case of water air drop here air medium is a rarer medium here rain drop is a denser medium because of that light when it is coming from rarer to denser medium instead of going this path it will going to bend like this okay so instead of going this path so you can see the light ray is going to bending okay this angle what we call as a refraction angle clear children a refraction is taking place because when ray is coming from air medium to the water medium okay that means air to rain drop a rarer to denser it will move towards the normal okay this is the one of the reason and next light dispersion so see in case of glass you can see the glass prism when a light passes what happened because all the colors will have separate wavelength that means they have different properties but in simple language we can tell wavelength okay red will have more wavelength red will have more wavelength and violet will have very less wavelength so that it will cover faster that means in other sense violet will have more energy that means it have very high intensity it have more energy so that it will energy is more what will happen we run faster right if energy is low we run slow so like that we this violet will have more energy so that what will happen it will run faster and it will come out and but less red have less energy so that it is coming slowly like that all these different colors will have different energies and different intensities as well and different wavelength in the sense okay because of that reason so they instead of only refraction if you pass only red light through the prism okay you won't see any dispersion okay only red light will come out okay but because we are passing white light it is a combination of seven colors that is why all the seven colors going to spread out like this clear children this is what we call light going to refract dispersion the fourth process and uh, see 
Okay, when a beam of light will pass through the prism, like in the last condition, what you observe, no prism, it will going to disperse because of medium going to change. Similarly, in the case of raindrop also, if you take in case of raindrop also, it will act like a prism only. So, rarer to denser it is coming and the white light is coming. Since the white light is seven colors, when it is passes through that, initially only passing like this, it will going to disperse like this colors. Okay, all the colors going to disperse. Okay, this is what we call dispersion phenomena. And the next, you can see light dispersion. Therefore, the resultant violet of violet light to be located in the inner section of the rainbow. Okay. And uh, the red light will be located in the outer section of the rainbow. This same principle explains the reason the order in which the different colors of light will okay, you know, this prism. When light passes through, which will have more energy, it will come down. So, violet have more energy, but red will have less energy. No? It will take that. Here, also, see inner that means which is come inner, no? the violet light, and this is a red light which will form light. When sunday forms, and this which is actually okay, so just a second. Yeah, we can see rainbow because of this. And the second, this in the fourth process, this is a supporting figure actually to understand why red will be outside and violet will be inside. That is because of red, what you see, you know, that is of first water droplet. And violet, what we can see, you know, that is the second water droplet. That's why red will be outside and violet will be inside the curvature. Okay, violet is coming oh, after refraction from the second water droplet. Okay, first water droplet, second water droplet. Like combination of many water droplets you will get in this rainbow. Okay, children. Okay, total internal reflection. How total internal reflection is occur? Okay, that is because when the light is falls and instead of going outside to refract outside, entire light is coming back. This is what we call total internal reflection. It will occur at water aid interface. Okay, water aid interface it will going to take in place. Okay, total internal reflection if you want, we'll just explain the next slide. Okay. See, critical angle is the angle of incidence above which total internal reflection occurs which its angle of refraction must be 90 degrees the course suppose let us see to occur total internal reflection conditions total internal reflection occur only when light need to first condition satisfy that light must be the source must be in denser medium it need to go from denser medium to the rarer medium first rule and the next one is instead of going like this it will need to go in this that means angle of refraction if you take the normal okay angle of refraction angle must be r is equals to 90 degree it must be okay refracting angle must be 90 degree in that the condition it is more than this critical angle more than 90 degree that means suppose whatever the angle of incidence is there now with normal to this suppose now 35 degree you will get r is 90 if we increase 36 degree that time what happened instead of going in the outward it will come back okay suppose with the less angles it will go like this if still less angle it will go like this again like this it now what some angle it will get r equals to 90 degree again you're going to increase this angle of incidence it will entirely come back that angle what we call as critical angle and this process what we call the total internal reflection whatever light will pass them no, it will entirely come back this principle what we use in the optical fibers Okay, that is why optical fibers, no wastage or no loss of whatever signals we send. It will come back completely because of total internal reflection. Okay, whatever, leave that, but your, if it is a total internal reflection, one step is happening. Okay, in the to formation of rainbow. Next one, the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle. Okay, what is critical angle they given? I told, if angle of incidence is smaller than the critical angle, light will just transmit, it will go like this. It is greater than critical angle, then only it will come back to the same medium. Okay, if light is passing like this, it will pass. If it is more angle in incident, that time instead of going this path, it will come down. That is what is total internal reflection. And the next, refraction of light leaving the water droplet. When Light travels back out of the raindrop, refraction occurs. See, it is coming again. 
pure heat you can see the angle is just again it will come back out what's what happened all the rays will going to spread again they going to spread this is what we call again refraction occurs the diagram below shows the angle of okay angles for violet light violet ray. okay this angle is you know this is for violet ray. how it is refracting again so further light dis dispersion when it is going to refract no you can see the last figure only it is refract that means with respect to uh, normal it will going to spread out and the same time it will going to disperse that means that you can observe your length between the each light and your length between each light it is going to spread because of the spreading dispersion only we are going to observe the rainbow okay length and width of the rainbow we are going to observe this after sun light leaves a water droplet it being refracted again hence it will increase the sun separation of the component colors while while light again okay that is what discussion okay the rainbow is finally formed when sun light dispersed refracted reflected refracted through the thousands of water droplets in the atmosphere if it is happening in one droplet we cannot see that much effect it will happen a refracted from thousands of water droplets no? that time only we going to observe the rainbow okay children and where and how would we observe rainbow and okay no two persons will see exactly the same rainbow because it will be based on the viewers suppose imagine you are in suppose you are seeing the sun or moon okay you can see from this end okay one end of the earth and other end of the earth they will see differently this object okay who are seeing which from where you are seeing is a matter okay no for two persons will see exactly the same rainbow it will be based on the observer position also the rainbow is not physical object first of all this very important thing it is suppose we have one ball we can catch and see easily but it is not a physical object actually like a sky in the last few videos i have told you the sky is not a limit or a boundary like one layer it is not existing also what we see only the spreading of light in the sky we can see that as a blue like that the rainbow is also just a spread of light we can it is not a physical object okay and cannot be physically approached okay we cannot suppose your rainbow is there we cannot go there and catch we cannot touch the rainbow also it is just the light ray refracting from our eye view that we can see that's all okay and one thing for any competitive exam they last like this question we see rainbow at 42 degree okay here here to your angle is 42 degree 42 degree angle it is measured for each observer eye thus therefore the no two persons will see exactly the same rainbow. that means this is a sunlight and this is observer eye suppose if this person will see from him it is a 40 degree suppose if this person will see from him one more droplet or this droplet only the sunlight will be shown to one more ray will fall in for that you can see like that for each that's why you can see no two persons will see the same exact rainbow the last question why no two persons will see exactly same rainbow the reason is we see rainbow 42 degree angle it is measured from each observer okay from each observer you going to see this 42 degree angle actually that's why right. okay next one rainbow is always directly so okay, they will ask some questions like this when which are the conditions we need to observe the rainbow see here the person is there and here the sun is there and here you can see the rainbow when you uh, the sun is there rainbow you cannot form this thing. okay we must stand opposite to the sun our back and your friend okay your back side is the sun must be there and your friend side only we can able to observe the rainbow that means when light will come and fall reflect back to your eyes then only you going to see the right children so reflect means they can do so many process what we discussed all the seven process but finally what reflected and refracted light need to come and reach you that means you are in the same side direct light will come okay instead of this that means we are in opposite side that time only reflected light will come so that we can see the rainbow clear children okay so rainbow rainbow go through similar processes dispersion reflection refraction inside a 3d cone that filled with the water okay watch the following video okay you can see this video you can observe that before that see suppose we will go 
in a flight. Suppose you are going on the surface of the earth, we are standing so that only we can see a sphere. Okay, rainbow. Suppose we are going with the high altitudes above, you can see, no? You can see it is a complete circle actually rainbow. It is not only half of the person. It is a complete circle we are going to observe the rainbow. Okay, uh, just a minute. Yes, children. We can through see through the like flights, or we can through to the very waterfall surface. Not only hemispherical surface uh, that is what the rainbow. We can see full circular or sphere, sphere shape of the rainbow will form. Okay, why the sphere shape of a rainbow will form? That is because of within water drop it is circular shape. Okay, it is refracting from where? It is refracting from entire three dimensional surface of the sphere. That is why we can see the spherical shaped rainbow. Okay, a round circular shaped rainbow is formed because it will be refracting from where? From the water droplet. It is also sphere shaped. Okay, children, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share my channel. Thank you all.